morning fam getting an early start this morning I wanted to show you guys the lights give you some nice views of the lights I got all my switches right in here I can turn them on and off in here but the downfall to it is it's nice but I have to have the PTO engaged see you can see in the drawers you know even over here you can see I mean it's pitch black in here this is in the shop and there ain't no lights on this side of the truck and uh, you can see in here you can see you know and um, so then you come in here you got all your lighting in there you can see in there no problem no problem at all back in here compartment lighting in here you can see all your sockets there come around to the back come around here to the back you got plenty of light back here it's all lit up and then you got the crane and you got light over there so if we turn these lights off you got some light on this side. You got this one here, it's just kind of beamed out over there. When we come in here, we got some light in here. If it was me, I would have put one more LED strip. Um, I would have put one more LED strip down this side in here to lighten that up. The bottles are going in here and your hoses are in here. You really probably don't need that much light. Um, but they could have put another one in there. But they better have one in here. Oh, yeah. So you got plenty of light uh, in there. But they could have uh, could have put one more in there. But that's kind of a bummer. The PTO has to be on. The switch has to be on for the PTO. For the lights to work that's kind of a bummer i have to research that because see it's back here and it's clicking the hour meter on the chassis right now even though the chassis is not doing nothing the lights are on the compressor sat overnight and it dropped about 50 psi overnight but pretty much stayed lit up the whole time but you can come here oh that's my um these are my outrigger switches here i don't know if you guys can see that these are my outrigger switches here these are my lights over here and i can turn them off over here but see this light's still on but all the lights are off it's dark in here see the cranes lit up too but i still have this compartment light on even though all these lights are off here so let's let's go over here because i think i have to come back over to this switch panel these lights are off so i don't know why that 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 one stays on that's goofy that one must automatically come on when you click the PTO on. This light must automatically come on. Yeah, it must have, it must automatically come on because there shouldn't be any, uh, the PTO comes on, this comes on, I guess. So you can see in here and see your controls. But let me go click the PTO off. Oh, that side's locked. Can't go around the front of the truck. It's a little tight in here. We got 16G cat grader in here right now. And so it's it's a little tight. This shop ain't ain't real big. But I gotta find out why I have two switches in here. I have a auxiliary five. I wonder if that turned that. I wonder if that just turned that light. No, nope, light's still on. 
So I wonder, I gotta get these lights and stuff figured out. PTO's off, and I have all these. I don't think any of these are hooked up. So we're gonna, we have all those to mount lights up top and stuff. Now let's see if that lights out, ouch. Yeah, now it's off. So when you click the PTO on, truck's not running, but you click that PTO on, that kicks that light on automatically. Yeah, that light's on. Huh, okay, well I guess that's how they got her figured out, which is fine. I do like having the option right here to be able to click the lights on. But I gotta make sure I like to test it when stuff's new. And that way you know how it works is if you get a malfunction, you'll know down the road how it is, so. But this light in this cab, you guys can see that. This light is really nice light. And that guy that dropped the truck off, he said these were lights right here, but I don't think they are. I think these are your Bluetooth speakers. And there's no lights back here no more on the Fords. The dome light, all you get is here. You know, which is kind of hard to see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's to turn them off. That's to turn just that light on. That shuts it off. Now will turn just that one on. Just that one on, so I can have that one. Which, you know, I wonder if there's a light in here. No, nope, no lights in there either. Huh. I love the color of that, I'll tell you that. But yeah, those aren't lights. Wait a minute, now those are coming on. Well, what in the world? Those weren't coming on before because the key was right there. So the key, if the key's all the way on, these come on. But when the key is one click back there, I can turn the PTO on and off. An auxiliary five on and off. But if the key's all the way on, I have these let up. But those won't run compartment lights or or nothing. The PTO's got to be on for for the compartment light to be on. So we're figuring her out little by little here. So 